All right, new this morning, bubble wrap. It's a common packaging item, but it turns out it was originally invented as a type of three-dimensional wall covering. Ashar Karishi shows you how one man is now transforming those tiny plastic bubbles into works of art. Most people look at bubble wrap as cushioned packaging material or just inexplicably satisfying to pop, but not Bradley Hart. When I see bubble wrap, I see potential. Hart is a New York-based artist who specializes in turning bubble wrap into high art. I first came up with the idea after some experiences with overzealous security guards telling patrons in a museum, and in one instance myself, not to touch the art. He starts with identifying an image and then using an algorithm and software to map out the bubbles. I go through a laborious process of turning that image into a series of pixels. He shot this video of his laborious process for us. The loading up of the thousands of syringes of paint can take three to five days depending on the size of the painting. Each bubble filled creates a color-rich composition, nearly photographic in quality. When you're up close, you can see a more abstract uh, version of these various colors. And when you stand back, those three or four colors that you were just looking at merge and become something else. I've done everyone from Marilyn Monroe, Kurt Cobain, Michael Jackson, Jimi Hendrix. A second impression of the artwork is made by overinflating the injected paint so that it drips down the other side. All the drips congeal together on the back of the bubble wrap. So when I'm done, I'm able to very carefully peel away this sheet of pure paint. Hart was inspired in part by famed French post-impressionist Georges-Pierre Seurat and his technique of pointillism. I did an entire show based on Seurat's La Grande Jatte. Hart says there's no need to worry about having the urge to pop his artwork. Everyone talks about, oh, if I was there, I would just run into it and I would jump and I would pop it and all those types of comments. And the reality is the paint is dry inside. It's unpopable but they are able to delve deep into its meaning. Why did he use plastic? Why is he using needles to inject it? Yes, my work begs to be touched, but that's part of the conversation, playing with the cultural trope. Should I be allowed to touch this or not? Can I touch this? Bradley Hart's next solo exhibition in New York is scheduled for 2022. I'm Usher Qureshi reporting.